all right what is going on today youtube we will be going back in with some more shirai new shadal zombies now this is going to be the last video with this deck because i don't know what else we can do this is a very okay hand we do we, we play norton right you know what can we do the combo i think we can do the combo here folks so because this is the zoo version. okay so no no this is not the new this is not the new version this is the old version without the uh what's the name i can't do the zoo combo if i felt like it i don't know if i should though so what i can do is definitely use sage tribute get the unizombi hmm i would have to leave mizuki in the grave so let's see what this man has i don't know if this would be the best Best play to do, but we're going to do it anyways. And, um, hmm, let me see. What we do is definitely, we gotta send Mizuki. We can definitely instant fusion to get back. Oh, see, we don't even need to get back what's the name, to be honest with you. We don't even need to get back, uh, what is his name? We don't need to get back Mizuki because we can just get the Sage back. And then by doing that, we can go into a free bullhorn. And we can use the young bullhorn and we can do what we want to do. All right. So we're we're just all right right now. Uh, yeah. So we're, we're doing pretty good. So and then we can go into an Omega too. And on top of that, it never you never know what we might mail. So even if we if we mail if we mail something broken, we can definitely get something going off. So let's go with this. And probably the addition to this deck would probably be the little knight. The Lunar Light combo, because that is just obviously too fucking good to not even play with this. I mean, if you guys did see Wednesday's video, you guys seen what I was pretty much doing on the board, which was just insane. Let's go ahead and go into this Young Wild Bow. Use the Young Wild Bow to go ahead and get a uh, Young Mom Rat. And see, this is why Double Bullhorn is just always good. It's just always good to establish... I mean, to get, you know, like another Viper or something. And we've milled the snow with another Mizuki. Uh, that, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good meal, I would say. Let's go ahead and go into the Young Omega. And then we can just end our turn. We're, so we're, we're just decent right now. We're decent. And we're going to go Drancia. And then to top it off, we do have a Shadal Fusion. So if our opponent does once, feels like he want to come back and out our board. He's, he's, you know, he's all free and willy-nilly to do so. We're going to just counteract him with a Shadal Fusion ourselves. And it's, it's just it's just amazing that a 60-card deck. Okay, well, you got rid of the worst card on my board. You must have Slumber. That's why. You, you, have, no, you don't even have Slumber. What are you doing? Why would you not get rid of the Omega? Like, you chose, what is this one? Oh, that, oh, well, it didn't, no, it kind of does matter. Why would you not choose Omega? Like, there's no reason to tribute over to the, 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 uh, the, the, the Bujin because it doesn't do anything. Drancia and Omega is the only two that do, does stuff. So that's, he's just, he's just, this is busted. That's just a pretty good hand. So he's going to get the one that spells and traps. Okay. Like I said, uh, in, in, in uh, no, not Wednesday, Tuesday's video, a lot of people are playing this deck. A lot of people are playing the Shino Bird deck, which is just, I mean, good for them. Good for them. But we're definitely going to get over the ritual. The only thing that's bad about this is that you only have three ritual cards. I mean, ritual spell cards that you run in this deck. In a standard deck. I don't know if people run like, uh, what is his name? Uh, like the... Um, Okay, I don't know if they run uh, cards like uh, Advanced Ritual Art or stuff like that because then that's, that's more, wow, you're playing those two. Jesus Christ. So you're going to banish this. And this is the, uh, this, that's what I said, this is the problem with only having three. Um, what I can do right here is definitely, I'm just going to pop this. That's, that's the problem with only having three, uh, three, what do you call it, three ritual spells that you can't continue to keep summoning his card because only pre prep gets this back from the graveyard and then these these are not level seven so it doesn't really work with pre prep and then 
it's just i don't know they need like another ritual card i don't know if there's any generic ritual cards that are just run around like advanced ritual art and stuff like that but um yeah he, he definitely needs that and we draw on book of moon so that's that's just amazing what do we else do we have in here um we have we have two mizuki so that's that's definitely getting brought out right now let's go ahead and get the sage um yeah so I, I, this is just going to be very pretty much over by next turn because our opponent my opponent literally has to do something or this is just going to be out of hand um yeah this is going to get very very much out of hand we're going to go ahead and go into this and by next turn he, he literally he has to do something he has to do something twin twister is the worst card you could have i could have possibly drawn um i don't think this is game is it See, I can summon snow, right? I think this might be game. Let's let's go ahead and summon snow right now. And the reason why I said it might, possibly might be game because we do have these two in the graveyard, and then we can just get rid of all of these because it really doesn't matter. We're not gonna ever get any of this stuff back because it doesn't matter. We don't play those. Uh, we don't play. Um, no, we didn't need to do all that. Um, we did not need to book it. That was an accident. I was just pressing buttons. Um, what else? Uh, we can go Crystal Wing with this and then just use Unizombie's effect to go into, um, yeah, we can just do that. So we just guarantee game right now. Let's go. We don't play Crystal Wing, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Well, that's a, that's something that I probably should, uh, address. <laughs> that's very bad. That's, uh, that's really horrible. And I think I kind of screwed myself. No, I didn't, but... Hey, you know what? We're, we're, we're all fine and dandy right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I said, you don't really need anything else back in the graveyard except for your zombies. We're, you're all right. And, you know, you never know. Somebody, they might be playing honest in these builds. They might be, even though that's a very horrible assumption. Pretty sure, like, 200,000% 200, they're not playing honest because it is a win deck. So, so yeah, we, we got our first victory. Because of uh, we draw an instant fusion. We do instant fusion uh, in a sixty card deck. That I know that hurts. I know that very much hurts because I would be very upset. And as we go against Neo, we have lost the rock paper scissors, and we are going first. And this is a okay hand. And you know what I'm going to do because I do have the call of the hunted. I'm definitely going to. Uh, just go into a generic. I'm just going to go into the Scarlight because um, we do have a potential to get uh, another Unizombie with this. And then I think we want to just shotgun it because I, I'm scared of Kaijus. So I really don't want to. But hey, I think that we just have to. We really do have to. Um, I forgot I was even playing. Like I was forgot I was even playing that card, like Devastation Virus. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Everybody pray. And before we do this, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And click an ad if you if you want to help support the channel. That would be very helpful, and I would appreciate you for it. So, without further ado, Deck Devi, let's go. Well, this is why you play Shadow Spread Virus. This is exactly why you play Shadow Spread, because Shadow Spread hits everything except for the stargazer magician okay what do you do on the field um okay if it's pendulum summon banish it that's the white wine that's the same thing you have odd ice fusion mirror force black fang what do you do um oh, fuck it let's not even take any damage no point to take any damage really what sucks is that he does have the back row of a mirror force um, but that's going to get popped by this dragon. Never mind, nothing's going to get popped by this dragon because this motherfucker doesn't, uh, guess. Uh, okay, well, I can just normal summon and pop both. But is that even the greatest thing to do? I don't think it is. So let's go ahead and do attack into this mirror force. I don't understand why he's playing. What he's no, you're not going to do it. Oh, okay, you, you, you're being smart, young man. That's actually not the smartest play to do. That definitely would have mirror forced the shit out of that. Okay, well that hurts. I forgot that he was under deck Devi. He's gonna MST for sure. 
that sucks. Oh, you could have hit the call of the hundred, sir. Um, but what's good is that um, is that an eight scale? Okay, sure. Okay, well then he can get over this. That's cool. That's that's all right. That's fun, I guess. They were dead odd eyes, right? What what's going on? Yo, what the fuck? This gets banished though, right? No, if it's used for a synchro, what do you do? You can special them. Okay. And we have drawn both. So let's go ahead and set this because they can't get over it. And we have drawn into, oh, dies. Yay. All right. So Deck Devi was not the best. I mean, it, only if it was what's the name. If it was what's the name, we would have been really in some, we would have been in some business right now. We would have been in some real good business. If that was the young shadow spread virus and we've drawn hedgehog, which doesn't do anything, but we just got a set because, uh, it's just not, is this, we're not, we're not, it's a 60 card deck. This is the first time I've actually drawn pretty bad in a 60 card deck, which is crazy, but I can't complain because I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to draw bad in a 60 card deck. And what's good is if he does attack this, which he is going to do. I'm going to get a Shadal spell, and since this was considered special summon from the extra deck, uh, I can send from my deck to the graveyard, which is pretty cool. And then even if he if he does get rid of this, I do I can just use it for summon amount because we know his back row is Odd Eyes Fusion and a well, what is his name? The young man known as uh, is that a, what do you have a Maxi? The young man known as Odd Eyes Fusion. So. We can definitely go, we can go Shekinaga, which I think is the better choice. Yeah, we're going to go Shekinaga. We're going to send, hmm, we're going to send Beast, and we're going to send a, we can send Momorat. That's what we can do. We can really establish a good board here, folks. I think, is that the better choice? Oh, that's really scary, man. It's really scary. Uh, fuck it. Let's just go with Beast. Let's go with Beast. Let's go ahead and put that dead in defense mode because I do not want that to uh, activate on my turn. Ooh, we draw the Shadal. I mean, we draw a unit zombie. So what we can do is definitely pop at least one card and then go into the young man known as... Uh, the young man known as Bullhorn and all that good stuff. So we're going to discard the dragon. Dragon's going to hopefully we hit the Odd Eyes Fusion. Hopefully we hit the Odd Eyes Fusion and we hit the Mirror Force because that's what Mirror Force is all about. So what we can do is just do this. Then we can just attack you, right? Yeah. And then Odd Eyes Fusion can't really do anything because it needs two or more special summons. And we have a negate. So I think we're good. And we're going to return to Mizuki. So now everything is really set up for next turn. If he does not do anything this turn, then we can definitely use the young. Uh, we can definitely use the. Okay. Or you just give me free. Free advantage with that, I guess. None of these can destroy itself, correct? Yeah. All right. So now we can do what we want to do. Spell card. No, we do shadow games. Okay. Well. Since we got over the mirror force, what we can do is go, we can go Sage. Then we could just normal summon the Summoner Monk. We drew two Summoner Monks and like, we drew two Summoner Monks. Like out of all things, we drew two Summoner Monks. So we're going to definitely summon that in attack mode because what? If a leaves the field, Jesus Christ, that is stupid good. Um, we can discard this sage. We're going to add the viper. And then we're going to do our regular shenanigans known as the, uh, let's go ahead and hold S real quick. And we're going to do our regular shenanigans known as the Zodiac shenanigans. And we're going to get this thing going and, and imploding on itself. All right. So what we're going to do, doesn't really matter what we do. Don't want to confuse ourselves by accidentally misclicking and targeting bullhorn. So we're going to detach the other one first. Does not have a maxi in his hand, which I'm kind of surprised he doesn't because, and no, he quits before we can do anything. So I will be right back. That was pretty cool. And that is a problem. That is a very, very, very big problem with a 60 card deck is that you can draw pretty ass 
But for some reason, this deck just does not want to draw as. I mean, it wants to give me Tinkies and an opening hand, along with Book of Moons and uh, what's the name? And Snows, which is I, I find pretty good. And I did not add. I did not add the young man known as uh, Zodiac combo because I just I just I just did not play this deck for like a whole week. So you guys got to forgive me for that. But um, the Lunar Knight combo would definitely be going in here. Like a, a updated version of this deck would be with, with the Lunar Knight combo because that makes this deck even more potent than it already is because it is a 60 card deck. And then you can just do you can just do magnificent things with it. Um, yeah, we don't need to search. I, I believe we don't even have a search left. And since we don't play Degusta Emerald, it, there's no reason to, um, it doesn't matter really what you detach. I know I'm just kind of sounding like a, uh, a repeating, I mean, uh, a broken record, but, uh, this is pretty much what it is. I really don't know what else to, ooh, Shadal Beast. Yes, that's pretty good. Let's see what we draw. Squamata. Okay. We've, oh, fuck. Eradicator is gone. The Shadal Fusion is gone. But we've got a sh we we've got that so we're 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 pretty good. I feel pretty good. Let's go ahead and set this. And I feel pretty good. We started off with five, ended up with nine, so we're pretty no wait, eight. So plus plus three. Can't can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with a plus three, man. Cannot go wrong with a plus three. So let's see what he actually has. Kind of not the greatest of hands. Yang Zing. Oh, fuck. Not this bullshit. But you know what? It's cool. Because I do have a Book of Moon and I do have a Drantia. What do you do? Target one set card. All right. Well, just, let's just Book of Moon you. Because there's no reason to not. Because you can use it. I mean, it's going to get destroyed regardless. So, um, does, does this trigger? I believe it does, right? Oh, why in the monster zone? Okay, so Konami does know how to make balancing effects. Now, for him to be taking this long, it either it's it, it, it's one of two things. And I'm thinking it's the first one. Uh, it's He has only two scales, and I have to hit the right one. So he's going to place the one he does want me to hit first, and he's going to place the other one second. So, or two, is that he has a... A, a, a good hand and he's trying to play around my Drancia or th the third one is, is just a bad hand. <laughs> it's just a bad hand. I, I, I literally overthunk that. Ooh, that's, that's, that's real good to have. Um, Hmm. I guess this is the best card to summon. That's just a good card, isn't it? That's just a good card. And this is zero defense. So I don't, I don't really care. We just do you. Hit him with a young 25 to the face. 26, actually, thanks to the Kajasuchi, which is good. Let's set this deck, Devi. Feel pretty good about it. We do have a dark hole, so we can come back. We do have a snow, so just in case anything goes wrong, we can definitely summon the snow of last resort. The last thing we can do is summon the snow. Okay, this is getting popped no matter what the fuck you do, sir. During your main phase... Wait, what? Okay, so I'm, you, as soon as you activate that effect, I'm popping it. During your main phase, you can add a Zephyr Pendulum from your extra deck faced up. And if you do, this card scales because... Wait, what? I I really hate these new cards, man. It's just so it's so stupid. Like, why do you get a free... Like, we got... Don't... Does, does Konami not understand? We have a... Pro, what is this? I, okay, I don't. Why would you? What are you doing? What What are you doing? You must have correct skills. That's the only way I can see you doing that, Luffy. Luffy, what are you doing? Don't do me like that, Luffy. Don't do me like that one, Luffy. Don't do me like that, Luffy. Don't tell me that was that was literally your only play. Wow. Okay, so that's good. We're gonna summon you. Then we're going to use you from the hand. And then we're going to discard the Squamata and send Dragon. And then if it's not nothing, anything, if it's nothing down there, which I'm predicting it probably isn't since he's not reacting to anything. 
um, we're going to go in for the game shot and we're going to go ahead and go to okay we're going to start with this next duel and turn you to attack mode and we're going to commence the attack the attacking attack with the unit zombie and that is game folks wow all right so it's not not the greatest of hands but we did start off with the you know the zodiac combo and all that good noise and stuff like that and we have got another victory on our hand on our hand let's see what can happen with these next couple of duels and there we go be right back all right so here we go against don't be sneaky and we have won the rock paper scissors for our last duel of the video and holy crap we have opened up pretty much pretty good let's see what he has he does he can activate something so i'm guessing that it is the young man known as maxi and i've not seen maxi over the past week which is just i mean i don't know about you guys but that is just so fucking fantastic to not see a maxi is this so good and there we go we see the maxi for the first time of the day and you know what i don't think i care i don't think i fucking care do you care because I, I i don't care fuck it we're gonna go drantia and we're gonna give him these two cards because fuck this goddamn game right because fuck this game fuck actually we're gonna give him one more card we're gonna give him one more card we're gonna activate this tinky we're gonna definitely don't, don't need to fire information we're gonna add this young viper because we don't want to mill it off we're going to give him one more so we can go to Kagasuchi because Kagasuchi is just amazing. And Kagasuchi can get us places that we've never been before. Oh. Damn it. You lucky we don't have. Oh, if we had that damn deck that in our hand, we would have been good. But that's actually pretty good. We can just, we can end our turn off of that. We can we can end our turn off of that. We gave him what? How many cards he has now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we gave him nine cards. I mean, you gave him. What is this? Oh, you're playing the normal deck. That is completely fine with me. What do you do? Um, once per turn, if you normal summon, you can add a Mythic Radium. Okay. All right. If your opponent activates away, control no tokens. Okay. That's pretty cool. That that's pretty cool. I guess this is uh oh that's just amazing because now you can't even activate none of your effects. Oh, you're playing the y'all. You're playing dinosaurs. That's cool. That's fine with me, young man. Don't be sneaky. And and you 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 you, you play Max C, and then you activate the Pot of Duality, which I, I wouldn't have did. I don't care how bad my hand is. I, I, what's going on? Why do you get to search? You don't get to search, do you? I don't like this card. I really don't like this card. Um. No, you know what? No, because that searches that fucking trap card that I do not want to see. That shit searches that trap card that I do not want to see, and he probably already has it. Yep, there you go. Um, if all oh, okay, wait, what? You can blah, 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 you can banish this. Wait, what? Target one. Okay. All right. Well, I can't do nothing about that one. I don't give a fuck. You're not getting a search. He's down to six, and then this is just not a card. So pretty much, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't draw anything. Wow, you can activate two per turn, right? Yep, sure, because that's just fun. That's fun, right? And let's just equip the Viper to this. Because I want to banish his shit. Ooh, Shadal Falco. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and go into the attack. Let's attack over this. Does this activate? No, it doesn't. Okay, so... That's what we, we might we're gonna we're gonna hold off because we don't want our opponent to get anything special. Um, we do have this torrential, which is oh you you have multiple pots. That's fine with me, sir. You have to get that fossil dig because you don't have anything going on, and then you can just add a trap, right? So I'm I'm tempted. I don't know if I should just I don't know if I should torrential right here. I don't think I should. Because as far as I know, that trap card doesn't really get anything. But I think that I do torrential here. Because he needs Yeah, he needs normal monsters to activate these traps. What do you do? Oh, you get to look at my hand. Okay, you're gonna discard this Shadal Fusion. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's cool. Yes, we're gonna detach a material. We're gonna detach these two. And you can't activate any of your traps because you don't have a normal monster. Correct? And if your opponent controls a normal monster, I mean, uh, wait, what? No, if all uh, you're not even gonna set it. Um, 
Let's use you. What's going on with this? This is going to trigger, right? What's going on? What? What? Oh. Okay. Both of these are going to activate. So do what you got to do, young man. Discard the Falco. That's fine. Falco's going to activate, young man. Um. Wait, what? Once return. Okay. If your opponent activated card effect while you control no tokens. Yeah, we're going to just do this for free. So does this activate again? Yep, it does, sure does. That's fine. They're going to do you. Then we're going to do it. We're going to, oh wait, he's going to pop it. Okay, well that's fine. Because we do have what's the name in the graveyard. So we can definitely just use you. Do you have another one? All right, so here we go. Bam, use the solitaire to get you back. Um, can't go Omega. Could normal summon this beast and then proceed to what? 22, 800, 26, and 25. I don't know if that's pretty sure that's not game, so but we're gonna do it anyways because uh, it's just fun to do. It's just real fun to do. So that's uh, what? 51 and 800. That's not game, but it's close. Matter of fact, it might be game. I can go Scarlet. Right? Uh, nope, you're down to 15 fucking 100. And we can't get around that one. Down to 15. And we're not going to activate the effect. So that means you don't get anything this turn. All right, so there we go. We're going to end our turn right there. And then we're going to use you to put back the young Mizuki because that's just a good card to blue. You get that. All right, that's fine. Then you get a search, which is just completely stupid, but hey, I guess. Um, that's fine. All right, so now Omega is free to activate. And then uh, that's, that's we should be good. What do you do? Cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay. That's fine. End of main phase. We're going to use you. We're going to bait out this trap card. There we go. So that's all three of them. That's fine with me. It, you're going to you're gonna attack the one that banishes. What what does that do? Does that negate my effects or something? Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's smart. You bastard. That was a bastard play. That was a bastard play. That was a fucking bastard play. Jesus Christ, I think we lose, folks. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't lose yet. You don't have any more. Don't have any more. But we don't have any more. That's the, that's the whole crucial thing about it. We don't have actually anything to do. Um, but we do have a young, young man who is courageous, known as the... Uh, can definitely just compose we can do that we can do that yes we can we can do that we can get you we can get you back young man all right can you or you young man right we can do this we can do this um bullhorn doesn't absolutely nothing in this situation but we could sell this right back to the extra deck i mean back to his deck we can just tell it right back to the deck. I, I don't, I don't, that's, that's fine. It was, oh, it was on him, huh? Okay, well, then we can just use you, right? We can use this young man to put back the man. What's going on? There you go. I'm going to put you both back. And then we're going to use Spectral Swords Effect. We're going to banish you. We're going to just going to do pretty fine. We're gonna pop you. Is, is everything fine? Is everything fine? Is everything fine? Because why? What is going on? That's not fair. Is that serious right now? Is is that like one hundred percent serious? That I activated the effect. Okay, so just do this. 
because now he has to use it on this. I believe we have game here. Oh, wait, is that a mirror force? What does that do? You fucking sack of shit. You fucking sack of shit. Are you kidding me? I think we lose this game, folks. I, I hate this deck with a fucking passion. I think we lose here, folks. Wait, what does it say? I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. how would how I don't get how would this work? Because it says if your opponent why you control no tokens. I activated this effect when I controlled no I mean he controlled a token. Why would that still continue to activate? Why did that die? Oh, once per turn. Didn't know that. And then he he just has the best card that he can possibly have in his hand. What are you gonna go? Uh wait, nothing gets oh you can go Bahamut Shark, you son of a bitch. You fucking fat fuck. Why? Where's my snow when you need it? Where's snow when you need it, man? This is why snow is just the best card in the game. Oh, folks, we just lose from here. Because I, I feel like I got cheated. I really feel like I got cheated here. I really feel like I got cheated. Because this says, if your opponent activated card while you control no tokens, you can get a token. He had a token when I activated Spirit Master. Nothing else activated after. Why did he get another token? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What 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 caused him to get another token? That's what I don't understand. Is it okay? Well, can you can, can you get done? That's game. That is game. We lose. We lose, fellas. We lose here. We lose here. But I, I still don't. Wait, wait. I want to see. Oh damn it! I can't check. Actually, I can't check, huh? What is it? What is it? What, where is it at? Hold on. Where is it at? Um. Where is it at? God damn it. There we go. All right. So what does this say? Yeah, I, I, I just I don't know why that happened. If if I'm not, it, I, unless I'm just mistaken, he should not have, because he controlled the token when I activated this effect. And this clearly says, if your opponent activates a card or an effect while you control no tokens, you can get a token. I do not know why he got a token, but you know what? I can't be mad. This deck did do pretty good for being a 60 card deck without lawn mowing and stuff like that. It did pretty good, so I can't really complain. But can you somebody let me know down in the comments below why did he get an effect? Is that a glitch or something? It looks like a glitch. I mean, it feels like a glitch because it clearly states if your opponent activates a card or an effect while you control no token, you can special summon a token. He had a token and I popped his token. Nothing else activated after that, so I don't know why this decided it wanted to activate. So, yeah, I, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know if it it still doesn't make sense. I don't know if it's because it resolved or something. I don't I don't know. It's but I, I don't know. I mean, wouldn't it say when effect resolves? Like, you know, like when like uh, what is this saying? Uh, red, the red eyes card, I, I believe it says when it after you resolve an effect, you inflict 500 or like, I, I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, yeah, that is the end for this uh deck um i will be back next week with the um with the dark lord deck and i believe dark synchro but i believe somebody did send a somebody did send a picture or wanted to send a picture so i'll see what's going on with that and i will see you guys um next week because friday i do have a dark lord video coming out so thank you guys for watching and as always um like comment and subscribe thank you